Good morning from at the bug house at the Houston Zoo. My name is Julie, this is Declan, and we're entomologists here at the Houston Zoo. And this is fall, it's the season for spiders and Halloween and spooky fun. But we're here to tell you that spiders really are not scary animals. And to help show you that we should love these creatures, we've brought a couple special spiders out for you to see today. I want to introduce you to Victory of Rune. She's a tarantula. She is the salmon pink bird-eating tarantula. She comes from the Atlantic coast of Brazil. And she's an amazing tarantula. Isn't she so pretty with her pink hairs? That's her natural hair color. We have not painted her. <laughs> Tarantulas are amazing creatures that have been around for hundreds of millions of years. Yes, they knew the dinosaurs. They're fantastic for pest control. I know they look kind of silly, and maybe they may look kind of scary in some of the Halloween decorations you may see, but these are not scary animals. You can see that she's just sitting very calmly on my glove right now. This is natural behavior for this species. They are not known to be aggressive. They're not known to be pushy. They like to just hang around on like little bumps on a log and they love their invertebrates too. So these guys eat a lot of other bugs. I know I said her name was a bird eater tarantula, but it's not quite accurate. They've had this name for a very long time and they were given a name when we didn't really understand all that much about them. And one was found eating a bird and scientists at the time, the conquistadors several hundred years ago really, thought that that's just what they did. And so they were given the name bird eater, but it's just not very accurate. We still don't know a lot about them. We're still learning every day about these wonderful tarantulas, but they tend to seem to eat a lot of other bugs. Victory's favorite food apparently is cockroaches. She really loves cockroaches. So as you can see, they're great pest control. This is a female tarantula. She's still on the young side. She's less than 10 years old. And I know you might be thinking, gosh, 10 years is already kind of old. A female tarantula can live several decades. So she's still quite young. She's gonna keep on growing. So she's about the same size as my hand when she stands fully out. And she's going to get bigger. Tarantulas molt, they shed their skin when they grow. And so every year she's going to roll over on her back and kick her old skin off and just leave it there. So you may sometimes think you see two tarantulas in an exhibit. That's just a molt. There are some really fascinating features about tarantulas that I think that you would like to see. So up front, her eyes are on top of her head. She doesn't see very well. Think of tarantulas like the ancestors to the garden spiders that you see today. She's been around a while, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So their eyes are not super good, but you'll see that she's nice and hairy. Those hairs are sensory hairs and they really help tell her what's going on around her. So she can detect air movements and she can detect scent with these hairs. They're fantastic and they're brightly colored which just makes them really pretty. Another thing to see about her, I'm gonna turn her around so you can see her rear end here. These are spinnerets on the back, the little pointy things. She spins silk. You may, be, uh, you may know Spider-Man and he shoots silk from his wrist. Well, they come from her bum, but it's the same deal. She spins silk out of those little spinnerets. Now spiders in your garden, Use, spin, uh, use their silk to catch food. She uses her to build her burrows and uh, make her nice house, her burrow, really comfortable. I mean, why have a dirt floor when you can have a luxurious silk mat? All right, so we've got a fantastic question. How are they, oops, sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I got a really good question. How do they, Defend themselves. Oh, that is a super good question. I kind of passed over that. These really cool hairs. 
that they have. So they can actually use those hairs to defend themselves. So if she felt threatened, which she does not right now, she could actually use her feet to brush those hairs out. They are super itchy. That's it. That's what they do. Yes, they do have fangs. Yes, she does have mild venom for catching her prey. She doesn't use that. She has to want to use venom. She's just going to use her wonderful little hairs that are itchy, and uh, she'll just basically kick those hairs out and walk away. So when I say that this is about what they do, this is really kind of what they do. But yeah, so the hairs, the spinnerets are back here. And we talked about her being from Brazil. We do have tarantulas from Texas. We have about 14 species of tarantula that are known to pass through Texas at various times. So they're around in this state. They're amazing. They do wonderful pest control. We want them here. And in fact, there's a species that hangs around near the Houston area. And um, if you do see these in the summer, the males will come out looking for mates. Just watch the wonder in your yard as they wander through. These are amazing animals and we really want you to enjoy them. Give them a couple feet of space, but feel free to take pictures and watch as they wander through your yards. These are, uh, like I said, just amazing creatures. And we hope that they'll be here for years to come. And we hope that this may help you learn to love tarantulas a little more. I'm going to turn it over to Declan so he can talk to you a little bit about our other friend, the golden silk orb weaver spider. Okay, just like Julian mentioned, this is a golden silk orb weaver. This kiddo is actually a native uh, orb weaver to Houston. She was actually found uh, right here in Houston. Uh, as you can see, she's very big and she does look very intimidating, but do not be afraid. Uh, she is actually a little gentle giant, um, unless if you are an insect. Uh, so she will actively build webs. Uh, she's actually doing that right now. We've only had her on this uh, piece of wood for a couple minutes, and she's already kind of just laid lines down to start. And she even tried to spin her way down onto the cart. <laughs> and right now she's just kind of checking everything out. So unlike tarantulas, uh, true spiders or orb weavers actually have really good vision, so she's just taken everything into right now. Uh, she was originally in, she can build very intricate webs, uh, and how they actually get their name is their webs look very much like silk. Silk, golden silk, and you can actually see that she's starting to lower herself right now. And unlike a lot of smaller spiders, such as the Black Widow, Although she looks like she has very powerful fangs, they don't actually hurt as much. They actually are equivalent of, or less than, a bee sting. So she will only use those to catch prey. However, if someone, say, were to poke their finger at her face, well, that's on them. Uh, so, and the cool thing is, is she, these type of species is actually very common right now. Uh, they will actually make themselves very known. They'll make make their webs out in the open along two big, big uh, tree areas. And yeah, and the cool fun fact about these guys actually, Venom is, is actually very uh, unique in terms of, there's actually research going on in terms of neuron regeneration. Uh, so these guys are actually helping in the medical field in terms of regenerating neurons. And these, their silk is very, very strong. Uh, it's actually stronger than steel. Scientists have actually found out that some spider silk has actually, can actually not be rejected by, bot, by basically mammalian bodies. So there is research going on currently with that. Yep. And we are happy to announce that she's actually the proud mom uh, she might not look like it, but she's actually a very caring mother. These guys will lay their eggs, and they will defend them up until the end of the season until they're ready to venture out on their own. She w and these guys, we don't have a male right now, but males would be much, much smaller. Uh, they're what we call a sexually dimorphic species, where the females will be big, brightly, and colorful, while males will be much smaller and more plain-looking. And does anyone have any questions about her?
And these spiders are the ones that now that are spinning webs in your garden that are about four to six feet in length. <laughs> They're really, really big webs, so you can't miss them. But they might feel a little funny when you go underneath the spiders unharmed. Um, they will just rebuild their web to catch food later on. Yep, and what these guys will do when they actually capture their food is they will actually envenomate it as well as uh, start spinning uh, webs out of their abdomen to basically wrap it in a cocoon. And I have a question from Debbie. How many spiders live at the zoo? Uh, well, that is a great question. So there is a fun fact that you are never more than six feet away from a spider at a time. Whether or not that may be true, uh, I am not sure. However, I do know that we have a lot of spiders at the zoo. Uh, they are great for pest control, such as roaches uh, and any other non-friendly non, um, pests that we find here at the zoo, such as roaches. On exhibit, we have two different tarantulas currently on exhibit, and one of our orb weavers should be joining exhibit soon. Yep, and we have from a Waylon. Uh, what is her diet? Her diet consists of full-grown crickets, so she can actually consume a lot. Uh, we, ha we haven't had her feed yet this week, but she can actually, during basically during mating season, she can actually eat up to three to four crickets potentially, especially when she's uh, getting up there and ready to lay her eggs. And so... This is the season for Zubu, our festival of fall and Halloween at the zoo. So that will be starting later this week, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So come on out. Fridays we're open until 8.30 at night. And if you're looking for how to save spiders in the wild, some of the best things that you can do is letting them live in your yards. So if you see a spider or a spider web, please leave them be. They are doing fantastic work. They will not be bothering you. Uh, they're just looking to catch the flies and the cockroaches and all those things that you don't want in your house. Another fantastic way of helping to save spiders at the zoo is to reduce your use of pesticides because our spiders like to have nice clean gardens to hang out in, as well as doing things like recycling. That's another big one because we want to keep as many trees and plants growing in the wild as we possibly can. We really appreciate you visiting us and learning to love our fantastic spiders. And we hope to see you at the zoo very soon. Thank you.